Hi everybody, today we're at the Detroit Russell Industrial Center and we're here to interview Baba Carlo, an artist that has his studio in this center. He's an artist that does some, some woodwork. As you can see, this place is pretty impressive. It used to be a factory and when it closed, one of the plans to redevelop the area was to create some studios for artists. So now the artists can rent rooms in this old factory, uh, pay a fee every month and have their studio here. This is a perfect example of the rebirth of Detroit through the art community. Let's discover Baba Carlo's studio. Yes, hello guys. Uh, my name is Baba Carlo. I'm originally from Senegal, West Africa, living now in Detroit for the past 25 years. Working around wood, rotten, bamboo, making rustic furniture, recycling, restoring wicker furniture. But my passion is this, the rustic. It's a matter of creating and Making, ma making more and more babies. And when I say babies, that's my, my pieces. And, uh, the rest is up to the universe. I'm doing my share, creating, trying to put my creation out there. You know, use my imagination, use the material that I have state of mind that I was when I created it. Those things are not easy to explain. I, I like to see them as my babies, how they come. You know, when you have babies, each one of them come different. And you cannot explain how they came. So that's basically the way I look at my piece. Uh, the material that I use, a lot of it is recycled. I pick up wood in the street over here or when I travel. People call me when they see a tree that's being cut. And the bubble car, there's some wood around. Eh? So, eh? I use also a lot of uh, leftover from other projects, from African artwork, pieces, cane, mask, broken. So, I try to surround myself with a lot of different shapes and pieces, and I go work from there, depending on what I have. But a lot of it is picked up in the street over here. Use, transform, recycle, however you want to call it. <laughs> this piece over here, the top was cut out from a drawing table, a huge drawing table. And the bottom, in fact, the level came from the factory. They were supposed to be level, uh, used as a level. See, like some of these are not even drilled yet. This one, that always drilled. So I picked the, these up, I think I found them from a warehouse. Twenty-five years. It hasn't been easy, but I give thanks. It's been fun. It's been fun to see things going up and down, different change, different people coming. And I think we're on the. As an artist, we're getting a lot more opportunities coming. <laughs> 